everyone, it is Katie here and I have with me a box. A box that I'm very, very, very excited for. It's in this box, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's my Clockwork Fairy Morico, I think is how you pronounce the name. I'm not, you know, name pronunciation whiz, so. So I bought her, um, as soon as I saw her, I knew I had to have her. And the second the pre-order was opened up, I, I jumped on that. And, uh, I think, um, Hadassah, again, not the best at names, um, she said that they'd start casting the dolls June 10th. If I remember correctly, I'd have to look back at the emails. Um, and I got her today, August the 26th. Is today the 26th? Anyways, I got her today. So, did not take long at all to receive her. And uh, I'm just so in love with this sculpt. She is definitely, definitely my grill. I mean, I was dreaming about this doll. I wanted her so much before the pre-order. So I did whatever I had to to be able to save up for her and yeah. I feel like my knife is dull. It won't let me in. And I actually got this from the post office this morning, but I have been unable to open it until now and I finally got home. So inside the box. It's an adorable little bag. And I didn't get any of the extras with her. I just got the doll. This is a really nice bag. Look at that. Because I, I really just wanted to make sure that you know I have enough to get the doll and there's another little pouch back here really nice so but I do plan to um order one of Das's uh fairy dresses maybe next month we talk about it so. there she is oh it came with a little bow it's so cute I have not been this excited over anything in a very long time. I don't even remember if I was this excited over my first doll that I ever received. Oh, it is so pretty. So here is the COA. So it's the doll's name, Mariko, date of birth, May 27th of 
2019. Thank you very much for adopting our little sprite. And it goes on to say so much stuff. It's so gorgeous. And this is um, Moriko's like little story card. Once upon a time, within the deep forest and lushes of green, down the river, across the stream, there was a magical garden in an everlasting spring, flowers of all kinds and shapes protected by a fairy ring. An overgrown rosebud lay hidden under the leaves, and when a shooting star fell from the sky, the rosebud shone so bright. The rose started to bloom, and inside, for the first time, woke up a tiny little sprite. Kindred spirit, playful little one, protector of the forest, your story has just begun. Oh, that is so awesome. And here's like her little card. The artwork is just gorgeous. And there's the original one and only Mariko. I'm just in love with the original Mariko. I mean, mine will look different, but... I will forever just be in love with the original Mariko. That is so gorgeous. A little paper butterfly. Oh, and another card with Mariko on it. She's so gorgeous. I swear. If you guys have never checked out Hadassah's work, you, you really, really need to. She is so talented. <laughs> no note from her. Like it even has the clockwork fairy and all this designing like on the bag. That's so pretty. You can't really see it with the pink, but these are probably her ears and antlers. And the bubbles are hearts. Okay, this the stand, I bet. The stand. Because this is definitely a stand piece. to clean off my bookshelf stand for um so I can make a uh, diorama for this girl cuz I I love my books don't get me wrong but I would definitely other see my dolls. So that is what I'm going to do. And I absolutely just love this bag. This is my favorite. Can you see that now? I don't know. Anyway. Gorgeous. A little hole for the stand. That is so cute. Okay. And now I'm so excited. 
in that little baggie with her name and a magic eraser. And it even comes with this strap. That's cool. Oh, and it has a bed, uh, another couch on it. I totally didn't see that. You can't even see her. Oh my god. This is very, very soft and very well sewn. <laughs> it says Eternal Angel on it. These are so cute, pretty. Kitty. These are her ears and horns. Her little human ears. Oh my god. Look at them. I don't know if you guys were able to see like the details on them or not. They're so well sculpted though. So I like want this doll in every color she comes in. Look at my knife. It's not good blue. When you're sitting on the couch or anywhere. It's really not good to use your knives. Stop it. It's mine. It's not yours. It's all over. Ah! It's her little deer ears. Oh my god. They're so pretty. Get my big stupid fingers out of the way. Look. Such a smooth resin, too. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm pretty freaking excited. These have to be her horns. Now, her horns will not come with, like, the vine and the flowers. Because that is a part of the blushing. However, when I order her dress um, for an extra... B I C them. Uh, she is going to make me the flowers and mail them to me. Oh, they're so gorgeous. Oh, they're so gorgeous, you guys. Like, oh, the detail on them is not even coming up. Oh, they are so gorgeous. But yeah, when she um, makes the dress for me, <laughs> she is going to um, paint the flowers the same color as the dress. Because I told her like what my theme is and everything. So she's going to do that because she's freaking awesome. <laughs> Another reason why you should buy from her. And here is the little precious sweetie. I can't flip it over. Oh my god, she's so beautiful. I don't even know, I haven't even got to her head yet. Okay, 
you guys don't get to see her first, I'm sorry. Oh my God. She is so amazing, you guys. I am just, I am completely smitten in love with her. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at that gorgeousness. Oh, the light. Look at that. Oh my God. How beautiful is she? She is just, wow. And she is single jointed. And normally I don't even like single jointed dolls. But I don't even care. Oh, wow. Look how far her arm can bend in it being just single jointed. That's amazing. Ah! That was a little alarming. Should we move back? Can I go forward? a nifty hook. Look at that. I'm gonna have to make sure to be like extra careful with her. She's just, she's so delicate. And I do see where um, like some of her resin is thin, like up in the eyes. It reminds me of my uh, soul doll that I had. She had really thin eyes. My resin right through here is really thin. would have been if I'd been putting them on the right way. remember how her ears are supposed to go because the magnets are not wanting to take them. Here's a picture. So they should fit like this. Let's try this again. It's not wanting to. Huh. Those lights work really good though. Look how cute. Do her human ears? What do I do with them? I will have to message her back about her ears. I think the magnets were put in wrong. Well, it wants to fit like that. But yeah, it's Yeah, 
that because it'll fit on this side, but that's, I think, the wrong way. Yeah, it's definitely the wrong way. So I will have to message her. She looks like Richard from Teenage Mutant. So adorable, you guys. You guys just don't even know. She has a floating piece right there. The resin is like really thin, so I am really nervous that she might end up cracking. Oh god, her hands. tiny little feet. Your little booty. And she can do that. This little playful pose. She's so cute. <laughs> Snappy. Which I would not mind, but I am nervous that she, her resin will crack because she's so the resin's so thin I wonder if she can She's not going to be able to stand on this box. Yes, it's... Nope. It's so cool. So... Oh, God. I am just loving her. I just, I adore this face. Just look at her hands. She's so cute. So I actually have some eyes for her. And um, she's supposed to take 26 millimeter eyes. But the ones I have, they're 26 millimeter reborn eyes and they just look so huge. Ooh. Yeah. We will see them. I want to uh, commission her. I want to get her a custom pair. I want to commission um, Squidling to do it. Because me and her, we had talked about it before. But I never did because... Oh. She has an eye. Look at that. Because I wasn't really sure yet of like the color and stuff like that. So, okay. And the eyes that I had originally picked out, I was only getting one pair. It was off eBay. Um, and the seller, I ordered them in like June or no July, and you know the. 
estimated shipping date was like early in August. And August rolls around and I still haven't gotten, does putty ever go bad? Anyway. I um, messaged them because I still hadn't received notice or anything if the eyes had shipped yet. Well, like a couple days passed and finally the, um, the seller messages me back and they're like, sorry, we looked and we don't have these eyes in stock. Well, what were you doing all this time that I was waiting? <laughs> Anyways, uh, they refunded my money, no problem. And I um, got on Amazon, I found these. They were more expensive and I got way more than I needed. But whatever. She has eyes right now. I don't want to touch her after I just did this. I should have went ahead and did the putty before I did this, but I didn't think. I just really, really wanted to open her up. I've been waiting, like I said, all day long. All day long. Yeah, I definitely want a Morico in blue and lilac and a tan and pretty much every other color there is. I am a little worried about the thin resin. I, I am worried about that. But hopefully it will prove not to be a problem. idea what I'm going to do about the magnets though, for her deer ears. I have a doll head whose magnet I put in the wrong way and I tried the boiling and everything and it just still does not work. There's some eye gapping but honestly that's like these eyes I'm pretty sure. I will ask her what she thinks I should do about the magnets because otherwise I'm not going to be able to use the ears. Sucks. But that does not diminish how happy I am with her. I am pretty freaking ecstatic. Sorry if that is. I have um, another YoFD doll with me. Well, it's a body. And I want to just compare their sizes to give you an idea. Um, she is also Blythe size. So, and once I play with her some, I will do a body review too, which you've already seen some of what she can do, but God, I'm so worried that I'm going to end up snapping one of her fingers off. They're so tiny and delicate. You can't even see it. Look at those tiny little fingers. will definitely be one doll that my little girl can play with. She can play with Elsie. She's so pretty though. I love 
the shape of her body and everything. Sorry that you guys can't see her right now. You just see me on this pet crib. I need some white putty to fill the gaps. And I'm working on making her a wig. So. I want to commission um, someone to do it. But I did not have the time or the money to do that yet. So I just got some yarn. But I needed her to be able to actually finish it. The eyes are probably a little wonky, but they work for now, and I don't think you guys just want to see me keep fiddling with them. Okay. So, let me take the panties. This body actually um, got sold. So, I am just waiting for when she wants me to send it and all the other stuff is you can see that this is roughly 30 centimeters and she is smaller except for her head I do have a couple wigs here. I'm going to put some clothes on her first. These are the underwear that just she was wearing, but she did get rid of them. They are a little big. They probably would be fine if you know they hadn't have been on her. She can stretch them out a little bit but they fit her so pretty good. And this is a Blythe dress that I got off AliExpress. So let's see how it fits her. And it's super short in the front. Actually, a little too big for her. But not so too big that she can't wear it. But I already knew that her, um, like her chest was smaller than Blythe's. Her hips were, though. I don't 
I want to get her like some ballet shoes. The dress itself is doing something dumb. I've never owned a Blythe before, but I have a feeling her feet would be a lot smaller. And I have a couple wigs here that fit on my um, size 9, 10 heads. So I'm going to try one of these on see how that works out. So cute. That was this week. And then I also have a red and pink one, but it's not working right now. I do really love her in curls. So she will probably wear one of these two until I can get her wig finished. She's so precious. Her leg keeps slipping. And as soon as you know I've had enough playing with her which will never be enough um, I'm going to send her off to um, I can't remember their name but I want her free face up from them on um, or I remember their name but I'm not sure the pronunciation all the way because I can't remember at the very end off the top of my head anyway I want a free face up from them and they are going to fix this little gal up. She's so precious. Oh. So yeah, I'm going to message Hadassah about her um, deer ears. You know, the magnets. And, oh, her horns. Hold on, let me get the, one of the wigs back on. Then I'm going to message her about the magnets, see what can be done, hope for the best. Um, They stick to everything but what they're supposed to stick to.
time I've ever had to do that. And like I said, uh, she will be getting a face mask soon and a wig. Oh, she's so gorgeous. I just love her. Oh, my hand. I'm just gonna like stare at her for a little while. I'm not going to stare at her on camera because this is already at 41 minutes. So I'm going to cut this off and go play with my little girl. This girl. And I will come back with probably a body review once I've played with her. Um, you've seen, you saw me do a little bit with her, but I like to do a thorough one. So yes. Thank you for watching and goodbye.